Hey guys, this is Gio with randomtech.com, T-E-K. Today we're going to show you how to unroot your Thunderbolt and put it back to stock after using the revolutionary tool. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go download the HTC drivers and I'll put the links in the description. After you download and install the drivers, make sure your phone connects. Then you're going to want to go to this website here, thunderboltforums.com. Um, and the title of this forum is uh, RS Guide How to Return to Stock from Revolutionary Root. I'm going to download this first. You're going to download this first uh, file here. I've already done that, but uh, it's called T-Bolt folder. And I've downloaded the drivers and installed them too. Alright, so you're going to copy the T-Bolt folder and put it into your C drive. Paste it. After you do that, you do the following on your phone. You plug it in, which I've already done. Make sure that it's in disk drive mode. Once your phone's in disk drive mode, open up the SD card. You want to make sure PG05 image is not in your phone which it's not we don't have that file PG05 zip on our phone so after we make sure of that we want to take it out of disk drive mode back to charge only want to make sure it's in debugging mode which mine is already but if yours is not, you just go to menu, settings, applications, development, USB debugging, and I have stay awake. Then you hit start on your computer, CMD, to bring up command prompt. And you want to change the directory to C D colon slash T bolt. Now we go back to the Thunderbolt, do the first command here in part two. We've already done uh, change the directory to C T bolt. After you paste, you want to make sure the MD5 sum matches here on the website. 69913680 FCB. Mine matches. You want to go to the next step here. ADB devices. It'll make sure your device is connected and running, which it is. As you can see, there's my serial number right there. Now we want to do the next step. ADB reboot bootloader. So you can see our phone rebooting to the screen, revolutionary up top. I have S off, so we want to reverse that. Now we have our phone in fast boot mode. We want to go to the next step, fast boot devices, paste. 
There's a serial number again. Next step. Okay. Says okay. Next step. Copy and paste. Finished. You want to make sure sending OK and writing OK, which we do. Okay, for the third part of this, your phone's still unrooted. You want to bring it back to stock. We're going to hit this link right here. And you're going to download two files. I've already downloaded them. The PGO5 No HBoot and the one just below these big LED red red and the one below the big red letters this is PGO5 HBoot so one's no HBoot and one's HBoot once you have them downloaded you're going to copy them onto your SD card so you want to make sure your phone is back in disk drive only so once your phone um, storage card pops up you want to copy the no boot over first, paste it onto the root of your SD card. Now that the file is copied to your SD card, you want to rename the file and delete all this. Just leave PG05 image, IMG. You want to take your phone out of disk drive mode go back into charge only USB debugging what you had to do um, was I unplugged my phone replugged it in and then it went into charge only USB debugging you type ADB reboot bootloader and it'll find your phone put your phone into fast boot once you're in fast boot you wanna just select bootloader hit power Leave it for a second while it checks PG05. It's going to load the one we, that we loaded onto the storage card. As you can see the screen here on the top right, it's a progress bar. Just let that run for a few seconds. Alright, it's finished loading. It asks you if you want to start update, volume up for yes, volume down for no. We want to hit yes, so volume up. It's going to go through the prompts here let that go updates complete everything's okay you can press power to reboot your phone's loaded up make sure you're back to froyo back to stock 2.2.1 settings get back into debugging so you go to applications, development, USB debugging, and I do stay awake. Make sure your phone is also charge only, which it is. Your SD card file folder will open. You want to delete the PG05 file, and you want to paste the other one. The one, not the one that says no boot, but the other one onto the SD card. You want to take everything off, rename it again except for PG05 image. You want to go back into charge only mode. ADB reboot bootloader. If it doesn't come up for you and you see the error device offline, you can unplug your phone, okay. wait a sec, and plug it back in. The drivers need to resync with the computer. Okay. Charge only and make sure debugging mode. 
You want to select the bootloader option with the power button. It says, do you want to start update? Yes, volume up. Update is complete. Press power to reboot. Your phone doesn't power up, that's fine. Go ahead and reboot your phone back up. Alright, once your phone gets back on, make sure you're charge only, debugging. To make sure we're completely unrooted, go back to the computer and ADB reboot bootloader one more time. Once again, if you get the error, you have to disconnect and reconnect to sync the drivers. Put your phone back into the fast boot mode. And you want to make sure at the top. And when you get back into fast boot mode, your phone should look like this. And at the top here, it'll say S on, and the revolutionary sign is gone. You're back to stock. That's it. This has been Geo with Random Tech T E K. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, make sure you stay updated with our latest videos.